to Bar India News R. The government is pushing the country at par with global chip industry. As the world is facing an acute shortage of computer chips, hundreds of billions will be spent by governments and corporations in coming years on a chip race with geopolitical as well as economic implications. The electronics market in India is currently $160 billion and is expected to touch $400 billion by 2026. The surprising thing is, there is a value addition of only 15% to the Indian economy and the remaining 85% is either imported or completely knocked down units or semi knocked down units and are absorbed by the Indian economy without any value creation. 40% of an item's value is in components and another 40% is in IP and technology. So, your design should come from India and that IP value should get recognized in India. Patents should be filed in India. There was sudden growth arising due to the COVID-19. Continued stay-at-home era caused by the coronavirus pushed demand beyond levels projected by chip makers. Lockdown spurred growth in sales of laptops to its highest in a decade. Home networking gear, webcams and monitors were snapped up as office work moved out of the office and Chromebooks as school left school. Sales also jumped from home appliances, from TVs to air purifiers, all of which now come with customized chips. The global semiconductor manufacturing giant TSMC and Samsung are working on 3NM mass production by 2022. The rise of artificial intelligence is another force pushing chip makers to innovate. AI relies on massive data processing. More efficient or power-saving designs are also becoming a critical consideration given the so-called Internet of Things, a universe of smart or connected devices from the beefiest phones to the most common light switches and refrigerators is expected to swell usage of chips exponentially in coming years. Now, things are getting changed. The USP of India is very strong when it comes to semiconductor design or any software development related to semiconductors. We are leaders in that. The only challenge is that the talent in India is working in captive design centers of leading global companies. We hardly have fabulous product design companies from India, for India and global. We don't have IP creations for India. All the IP created is for someone else and patents are filed outside, which gets recognized outside. There are so many mobile move phone manufacturing companies in India, but the entire kit comes from outside. We are just doing the soldering and assembly. In a $100 phone, India makes only $10. This is definitely creating blue-collar jobs and manufacturing, but what about value creation? EMS or Electronics Manufacturing Services has picked up in India, which creates only 15-17% to value recognition. The opportunity, therefore, is to increase value addition to the Indian economy from 15% to a larger share, thereby growing the Indian economy. India should have had its own semiconductor fat decades ago. Sadly, so far, local manufacturing was never on anybody's agenda. At least now, the importance has been realized and incentive schemes have been launched. The government is doing everything it can to bring us at par with the global industry. Let's look into today's headlines in Bar India. US government sets off the Zero Trust Architecture Strategy. The White House issued an executive order on improving the nation's cybersecurity, which requires US federal government organizations to take action to strengthen national cybersecurity to help protect the United States from increasingly sophisticated cyber threats. The memo clearly describes the government's strategic goals for zero trust security. It advises agencies to prioritize their highest value starting point based on the zero trust maturity model developed by the National Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency. China to build eight national computing hubs with 10 data center clusters. China has approved a project to build eight national integrated computing hubs with 10 data center clusters across the country to improve computing capacity and better empower the country's digital development. As the backbone to China's computing network, the eight hubs will develop data center clusters, carry out collaborative construction between data centers, cloud computing and big data, and bridge the gap between east and western regions in computing resources. Kraken already pulling $3,000 per month. Golang-based botnet Kraken is using the smoke loader malware to spread like wildfire and is already raking in a tidy $3,000 US per month for its operators. Using smoke loader to install yet more malicious software on targeted machines, Kraken is picking up hundreds of new bots each time a new command and control server is deployed. The current version of Kraken's C2 panel has been completely redesigned and renamed as Anubis. The Anubis panel provides far more information to the operators than the original Kraken panel. ViewSonic to supply 1,300 ISPs for BMC Digital Classroom project. 
ViewSonic India recently won a tender to provide 1,300 interactive flat panels with the MyViewBo software for the Brihan Mumbai Municipal Corporation Digital Classroom project, allowing for a seamless move to digital education and opening up new possibilities for educators and students. The BMC has launched a program worth 38 crore rupees to replace blackboards in Mumbai civic schools with interactive flat panels. The BMC operates approximately 1,133 schools, serving over 2.85 lakh kids, most of whom come from low-income families. Zabbix vulnerabilities permit authentication bypass code execution on servers. Two vulnerabilities in open source monitoring platform Zabbix could allow an attacker to bypass authentication and execute arbitrary code on a targeted server. The security flaws were found in Zabbix web front end, a platform used to collect, centralize and track metrics such as CPU load and network traffic across entire infrastructures. Researchers reported that Zabbix is a high-profile target for threat actors due to its popularity, features and its privileged position in most companies' networks. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to VAR India News Magazine. You can download the VAR India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.